lot of hard work. Uh, you know, it's starting to pay off a little bit. All the uh, this extra extra time spending in the gym. I mean, in the mornings, late at night. It's, so you know, I'm just excited. Uh, you know, that I'm seeing some results. You know, it paid off. But um, you know, I'd like to thank my teammates. Cause, you know, they helped me. They helped me along this way. Along this journey to you know achieve the success. You talk about the perspective of winning a WAC Player of the Year and making the big dance. Um, you know, that would be, that would be a, just icing on top of everything. You know, just making the dance. Uh, you know, of course, we got to play these games one, uh, one game at a time, but, you know, that would be, uh, be a blessing if that was time. You yeah. sat out a year. Um, you sat out a year. Um, you, you've, been, you've been in, you know, the tournament now yourself. Um, Talking to Ernst and Tyrone and then playing with guys like Wendell and them, mm-hmm. like how, how much does that is the like contribute to the success that you guys have had here the last you know four or five years? Um, you know that's a big factor. I mean, uh, contributes to the success a lot. You know, uh, me sitting out and um, you know getting to get to sit down and watch from sidelines uh, that year. That kind of hurt me, but uh, you know in a way it kind of sorry. That kind of that kind of. Uh, Kind of help me in a way, you know, because um, I got to see the ups and, and some of the downs of what to expect for the following year. And um, you know, just playing with those guys, um, you know, Ernst, he's uh, my my running mate in the, in the backcourt. You know, he taught me a lot because you know he he's been through a lot and he's experienced. So you know, he just taught me a lot of uh, a lot of things that he know and that he ran into. So you know, just to help my success here. Um, also, Tyrone and, and, and Wendell, you know, just talked to them a lot, and uh, you know, I just I think it, it helped me and it got me a lot better just playing with them and just adapting to how they play and how hard they play every night and you know just bringing it 110 percent and leaving it all on the floor. So I think that mentality, you know, I kind of took that from them as well and uh, stuck with me going forward. And the winning part of that, I mean, these guys are all winners here, and you guys, you won some games. Now. I know, dude. I'm uh, pretty, you know, uh, lucky that, you know, starting off in my first year, I was able to, you know, join them and win, uh, win a couple games, also go to the tournament, you know, so taking that winning experience from them and uh, just, you know, translating that to, to my career and this and the teams like last year and this year going forward. You've been to and won the WAC tournament. What's the, what's the key, and what are you telling some of the younger players? Um, I think the key is to just stay on the ball and uh, you know never never relax for one second because anything can happen. This is this tournament is one event, so you know we've seen these teams uh, twice already during the year. And, you know, we, of course they we know that they've scouted us and been looking looking over film for hours and hours. So you know. Uh, they know everything we're gonna do. We just gotta be able to execute, and uh, you know, be able to just play off of what they try to stop us from doing. Is your mindset different as a point guard? I mean, you, you do so much anyways, and now you have to run the offense and still do everything you do on the defensive end. Uh, yeah, of course. You know, um, being like looking at it from a point guard perspective, you can't you can't be as aggressive as you want to when when I'm playing the two because you know you, you gotta set up other guys. You gotta get them going. You gotta, um, Slow down a little bit. You can't be four gears. You can't be going 100 miles per hour. Every possession, you got to slow down and kind of evaluate everything that's going on. And uh, you know, just running with plays and trying to get a trying to get up big scoring and then you try to get some shots for shooters and pe- putting people in places that they're able to score. So yeah, it's a it's a different, completely different mindset. What's that been like for you? The um, last I I liked it actually. You know, I don't I don't I don't mind because we got. So many other weapons, you know. We got a lot of shooters. We got guys that can mix it up. And we got a big. We got a big. So you know, I don't have a problem with that. I can, I can contribute in other ways. And I don't have a problem at all. Does it change how aggressive you are on the defensive end, knowing that you know you can't really get in foul trouble? Um, no, you, you know, I still, I'm still gonna play aggressive on the defensive end. But you just gotta play a little bit smarter. You just can't do. Uh, you can't reach in. Or else you get caught for those tech fouls, so you know you just gotta, you just gotta play smart and, and know, know when to be more aggressive than other times. What do you think about uh, Trayvon and, and Ian? You know when you're when you're either off the two or on the bench. Yeah, um, you know they bring a good, uh, great energy coming off the coming off the bench. You know, uh, um, both of them look 
pretty pretty much new this year, and uh, you know I think they're doing a, gr uh, a great job building for KC and just being able to run the offense and still getting guys in positions that they're able to score, you know, and also taking whatever the defense gives them. So you know they're doing a great job.